Hello students, welcome back to our class. In the previous module, we discussed about um, Heron's formula for area of a triangle and how the formula was derived. With the help of that formula, we derived formula for area of triangle which is exclusively equilateral as well as isosceles. And also we discussed and derived the formula for area of trapezium when four sides are given that is A and B are parallel sides and B is more than A, C and D are non-parallel sides then area of trapezium is going to be B plus A by B minus A into square root S minus A into S minus B into S minus of A plus C into S minus of A plus D where S is the semi perimeter of trapezium A plus B plus C plus D divided by 2. So, and now in this module we are going to discuss what are all the problems exclusively very important in the concept called Heron's formula, right. So, let us have a look on these problems and the very first problem given here is the parallel sides of a trapezium 77 meters and 60 meters and its non-parallel sides are 26 meters and 25 meters, find the area of trapezium. See in order to find the area of trapezium, I am going to take a trapezium. So, this is a trapezium when the parallel sides are let it be A and let it be B and the length of AB is length of A is given as 60 meters and B is going to be 77 meters and this is C as well as this is D and the length of C is going to be 26 meters and length of D is going to be 25 meters. So, in order to find area of a trapezium when all the four sides are given, so we already discussed about the formula that formula is going to be area of trapezium is equal to area of trapezium is equal to A is equal to B plus A by B minus A into square root S minus A into S minus B into S minus of A plus C into S minus of A plus D, right. This is what we actually discussed and derived yesterday which is equal to substitute all the values the value of b is equal to 77 77 plus a is equal to 60 divided by 77 minus 60 times square root s what do you mean by s here s is semi perimeter of the trapezium that is a plus b plus c plus d whole divided by 2 when you substitute the values A is equal to 60, B is equal to 77, C is equal to 26 and D is equal to 25 whole divided by 2. So, when you find this sum you get uh, like 5 plus 6 is equal to 11, 11 plus 7 is equal to 18, 18 plus 0 is equal to 18. So, 8 1, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 plus 2 equal to 5. 5 plus 7 is equal to 12, 12 plus 6 is equal to 18 whole divided by 2. So, 188 by 2 equal to 2 9s are 18, 2 4s are 8. So, 94 is the semi perimeter. So, when you substitute the value of S, A, B, C, D and then you get S minus A, S is equal to 94 minus A is equal to 60 into S minus B. So, 94 minus 77 into S minus of A plus C, A is equal to 60, C is equal to 26. So, 60 plus 26 is equal to um, 86. So, that 94 minus 86 into 94 minus A plus D, 60 plus 25 is equal to 85, right. So, now when you simplify this 77 plus 60. So, 7 plus 0 is equal to 7 and 6 plus 7 is equal to 13 divided by 77 minus 60 is equal to 17 into 
square root 94 minus 60. What is 94 minus 60? Which is going to be 34 into 94 minus 77. 14 minus 7 is equal to 7. Now, 8 minus 7 is equal to 1 into 94 minus 86. 14 minus 6 is equal to 8 into 94 minus 85. 14 minus 5 is equal to 9. Right? And when you simplify this, you get 137 divided by 17 into square root. I am writing 34 as 2 into 17 and one more 17 is there and writing this 8 as 2 into 4 and 9. See, if you observe the, denom uh, the term inside the square root, you have square numbers which is equal to 137 divided by 17 into See here 17 into 17. So, 17 square, square root 17 square equal to 17 as well as 2 into 2. So, 2 square, so that is 2 as well as 4 is 1 more 2 as well as 9 which is equal to 3. So, when you cancel 17 and 17, so finally we get 137 multiplied by 2, 2 are 4, 4, 3 are 12. So, finally what do you get here? 12 sevens, 84. eighty four right so four eight and twelve threes are thirty six thirty six plus eight is equal to forty four so four again one more four twelve ones twelve plus four is equal to sixteen one six four four meter square is the area of trapezium when all the four sides are given hope you understand how to answer the problem and when you use this formula I think directly we can get the value of the area of trapezium instead of the construction and uh, you know by the traditional method. And moving on to the next problem, <coughs> here the next problem is the cost of leveling a park is 2700 rupees for 2 kilometer square. For each 2 kilometer square, this is what is the total amount given. So, that the total amount is going to be 2700 rupees per each 2 kilometer square. Okay. So, if the park is in right angle triangle form with one side being 45 kilometers, so find the hypotenuse. See here, this is what is the park. If you observe, the park is in the shape of a right angled triangle. So, that it is a right angle triangle and this is right angle. What is given here? If one side being 45 kilometers. One side being 45 kilometers means you can take any one of the perpendicular sides. For example, I am taking this side is 45 kilometers. Let it be H, but we do not know what is the base. So, base is equal to how much? See, how can you find the base as well as uh, the other hypotenuse? If you know what is the area of, of this triangle, then you can find what is the value of the base. So, after finding the base, you already know what is the altitude, then by using Pythagoras theorem, you can find what is the hypotenuse. But here the primary task is to find the value of the base. See here, the cost of leveling a park is 2700 rupees per each 2 kilometer square. This is the total cost per 2 kilometer square. So, the total cost per 2 kilometer square will give our area of triangle. So, according to the given problem, according to the given problem, area of triangle, area of triangle is equal to capital A is equal to 2700 divided by 2 because 2700 rupees per 2 kilometer square. So, that then you will get these many kilometer square. Then area is going to be 2700 by 2 kilometer square, but according to the given problem, we know that half into base into corresponding altitude. What is the corresponding altitude? 45 is equal to 2700 divided by 2. So, if you cancel this 2 and 2 gets cancelled, then the value of B is going to be 2700 divided by 45. Now, it is very much simpler to cancel. Here, 45 can be cancelled by 9, 9 5s are 45, 9 3s are 27, so 300. Again, 5 ones, 5 6 are 30, so it is 60, right? So, the base is going to be 60 kilometers. 
after finding the base which is 60 kilometers so what are you going to find because you are asked to find what is the hypotenuse so in order to find the hypotenuse so hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square there one side is 45 so 45 square and another side is 60 so 60 square right so 45 square what is the value of 45 square what is the next number to 4 that is 5 what is 4 5 sir 20 and then what is square of 5 square of 5 is equal to 25 so the value of 45 square is going to be 20 25 plus 6 square is equal to 36 and 2 more zeros totally what do you get here you get 20 plus 36 is equal to 56 25 right so 56 25 may be a square number so in order to check whether it is a perfect square or not you see this 56 56 should be the multi uh, the product of two consecutive numbers like 2 into 3 or 3 into 4 or 4 into 5 or 5 into 6 or 6 into 7 what is 6 into 7 42 what is 7 into 8 56 so 7 into 8 is equal to 56 so what is the first number in 7 and 8 7 is the first number so that it can be written as 75 square so therefore the value of the hypotenuse is going to be 75 kilometers so this way we can easily answer the problem hope you understand All right so moving on to the next problem here the next problem is find the area of the shaded region in the figure how many triangular flower beds of 6 meter square can be made from this area see if we once observe this is what the area of the triangle that you required area of the shaded region so area of the shaded region can be obtained from the entire area minus area of this unshaded region will be the area of the shaded region did you get my point area of the entire triangle minus area of the unshaded region will give the area of the shaded region but see here both the triangles 122 120 and 22 as well as another triangle 24 26 and 22 see both the triangles all the three sides are given so that we can obtain areas of both the triangles by using Heron's formula see I am going to find area of triangle ABC now okay so first one is area of triangle ABC area of triangle ABC so let us consider the sides of the triangle are small a is equal to 122 and small b is equal to 22 and small c is equal to 120 in this triangle then we will have to find what is the semi perimeter of triangle so semi perimeter is equal to a plus b plus c whole divided by 2 the value of a equal to 122 and b is also 22 and c is 120 whole divided by 2 how much is this 100 100 200 220 20 20 is equal to 260 plus 2 plus 2 equal to 4 so that it is going to be 264 divided by 2 so what is 264 divided by 2 2 ones are 2 2 threes are 6 2 twos are 4 so semi perimeter of triangle abc is 132 centimeters so what is area of triangle abc by using heron's formula square root s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so when you substitute the values then we get square root s into s means 132 so 132 into s minus a is 132 minus 122 into s minus b that is 132 minus b is equal to 22 into s minus c is 132 minus 120 so when you simplify this you get square root 132 is 132 into what is 132 minus 122 32 minus 2 is equal to 0 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 because 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 similarly what is 132 minus 122 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 3 minus 2 equal to 1 and one more 1 into 132 minus 120 is going to be 2 minus 0 is equal to 2 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 so it is only 12 so when you simplify this what is the square root of this number so instead of multiplying everything better you factorize into product of primes 
for that 132 is the product of two consecutive numbers that is 11 12 are 132 and 10 is there i am writing this 110 as 11 into 10 and one more 12 is also there right so every single number if you once observe repeated twice because 11 repeated twice 12 repeated twice 10 repeated twice therefore you can write it as square root 11 into 11 is equal to 11 square square root 11 square is 11 square root 12 square is 12 square root 10 square equal to 10 so finally you get area of triangle abc is equal to 11 12 are 132 and one more 0 centimeter square this is what is area of triangle abc similarly we need to find area of triangle boc also okay so i am going to find area of triangle boc in order to find area of triangle boc this is the first part and now second part is area of triangle boc in order to find boc i am taking a b c again here so small a is equal to in this particular triangle small a equal to for example 24 and small b is equal to some 26 and small c is equal to 22 right so what is semi perimeter of this triangle 24 plus 26 plus 22 whole divided by 2 so 24 plus 26 plus 22 is equal to 20 20 20 equal to 60 4 plus 6 equal to 10 so 70 plus 2 equal to 72 divided by 2 72 by 2 is equal to 36 so 36 is the semi perimeter of triangle boc right after finding the semi perimeter what am i supposed to find i am supposed to find the value of area of triangle boc so area of triangle boc is going to be square root s into s means 36 into s minus a 36 minus 24 36 minus 24 into 36 minus b is equal to 26 into 36 minus c is equal to 22 right which is equal to square root 36 is 36 into 36 minus 24 is equal to 12 into 36 minus 26 equal to 10 into 36 minus 22 is equal to uh, 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 so it is 14 got my point and now what are the square numbers here in this the square numbers are going to be square root 36 is 6 square and 12 is there 12 can be written as 3 into 4 4 means 2 square and then 10 is there 10 means 2 into 5 and 14 is 2 into 7 right now you can remove the square roots otherwise uh, take them out 6 square is going to be 6 and 2 square is going to be 2 and one more 2 square is there because 2 into 2 is there 2 into square root the remaining numbers are 3 is one remaining number, 5 is one remaining number and 7 is one remaining number, right. So 6 2s are 12, 12 2s are 24, so which is equal to 24 into square root. What is the value of 3 into 5 into 7? 3 5s are 15, 15 7s are 105. So 24 into square root 105. But if we once observe the given problem, the value of square root 105 is given that is 10.25 you will have to substitute so that 24 into 10.25 so when you multiply 24 and 10.25 what do you get so you will get uh, the value of 24 into 10.25 is going to be 246 246 centimeter square is the area of triangle boc but what do you want here you need to find the area of the shaded region so therefore area of the shaded region is equal to required area required area is going to be area of the first triangle what is that 1320 so 1320 minus 246 how much is this uh, like 10 minus 6 is equal to 4 and now this is 1 so 11 minus 4 is equal to 7 and then this is 2 minus 2 equal to 0 so 1074 centimeter square but what are you required here how many triangular flower beds of 6 meter square can be made from this area so it means 
with the help of this 1074 how many flower beds how many triangular flower beds of 6 meter square is required so in order to find this um, we need to divide this area by the 6 okay so that required flower beds required flower beds is equal to 1074 divided by 6 so what is 1074 divided by 6 6 ones are 6 47 um, 6 7 sir 42 so 34 uh, like um, 6 ones are 6 and then 47 right 6 7 sir 42 and then 54 6 how much are 54 6 9 sir 54 so there are totally 179 flower beds will be formed with the help of that shaded region so this way you can answer the problem see here all these problems are uh, you know all about how effectively you are using the formula and especially the calculation part in the square roots only matters so moving on to the next problem <coughs> Here the next problem is a piece of land is in the shape as given in the figure has been cut along diagonal AC. The two pieces of land has been distributed between Rom and Sohan which will get longer who will get longer piece of land in terms of area. See it is very much clear that there are two triangles in this particular quadrilateral but in these two triangles it was mentioned that clearly this is right angle see if this is right angle then you can find area of this right angle easily but on top of that if you want to find area of this triangle you need to find out the diagonal without having the diagonal we cannot find out the area of this uh, place or piece of land which Sohan got so that is why first I am going to calculate what is AC so in order to calculate AC from the adjacent figure from the adjacent figure ABC in triangle ABC in triangle ABC angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees if angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees then by using Pythagoras theorem AC square equal to AB square plus BC square AB square is 12 square and BC square is equal to 35 square. What is the value of 12 square? It is 144 and 35 square is equal to how much? Just now I told you the simple way to find out the square number ends with the digit 5. What is the number next to 3? That is 4. So 3 4s are 12 and 5 square is equal to 25. So 144, 25. Then we get AC square is going to be 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 and 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 and then um, what is this number 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 1 3 6 9 right so is this 1 3 6 9 a square number or not let us have a look on this 1 3 6 9 I think you know about uh, dot method to find out the square root take the nearest square number of 13 that is 3 times 3 is equal to 9 and then 4 take uh, drop the removing uh, the remaining digits 469 and that value of this 3 and should be multiplied by 2 so 3 times 2 is equal to 6 so you should write the same number here and here let us try with 3 suppose if you write 3 here 3 3's are 9 3 6 are 42 but what are we getting here 469 so what is wrong with this is the square root wrong let us have a look on this this is 12 meters and this is 35 so 12 square equal to 144 plus 35 square equal to 1225 of, of course 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 and then um, what is this number 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 and then 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and then 1 so 1 3 6 9 is of course the correct number so ac square is equal to 1 3 6 9 then when you find out the square root of 1369 what do you get 1 2 2 5 and then 144 so double check 9 6 3 1 
find 3 times 3 equal to 9, 13 minus 9 is equal to 469, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So, if you take 3 here, 3 3s are 9, 3 6 are 42. So, you are not getting the square number here because 1369 is not a square number. So, 33 I am taking, 3 3s are 9, 3 6 are 42. So, how much you are getting here? 40 also there. So, point I can take two zeros, but I am taking the value approximately which is equal to 33. So, AC square is approximately equal to 33. 33 is equal to AC. So, AC is going to be 33. After finding the value of AC, you can easily find out the area of the triangle uh, ADC 28 meters, 15 meters as well as 33 meters by using Heron's formula. I will just give you an, uh, a hint to uh, find out the solution for this. That is, now area of triangle, what is the triangle? First ABC, area of triangle ABC which is equal to half into base into corresponding height that is equal to half into base, base is equal to 35 and corresponding height is nothing but 12. So, 2 1s, 2 6 are 12, finally what do you get? 6 5s are 30, 0 3, 6 3s are 18 plus 3 is equal to 21 meter square. So, this is what the area of ROM. So, similarly what about the area of Sohan? So, you can find area of Sohan by finding area of triangle ADC. So, in this triangle area of ADC, the value of A, you can take one of the sides is 28 meters and uh, second side B is equal to 15 meters and third side C is equal to, just now we got the value of AC, AC is equal to 33, so C is equal to 33 meters. So, with the help of these three sides, you can find out the area by using Heron's formula. So, this way, we can easily answer the problem. So, hope you understand, but you have to uh, be more focused on using the formula in an effective way, right? Thank you.